last week's number one for choice match, man. I'm sorry, I had to ring the bell, man. You were in pain, you were in tax. I just had to, man. I'm hey, sorry. Don't even worry about it, man. Hey, three times I've had a shot at the WWE Championship, and every time I've had an opportunity, I've got it through. So, hey, not by you, man. It's, no, you know, yeah, Staples Staple dealer. But, man, Staples, man. Legacy, dude. Oh, I'm ready, man. I'm ready. Mr. Legacy taking it. will defend his title this year, and I will keep it undefeated at length. Right. Also at Legacy Man, I announced last week, me and Sobel best of five, there's a pinfall submission table, first blood ladder. It's been back and forth every time since Lord of the Ring. He, I t he tosses my salad, gives me a great equalizer, I flax master him, flax master not the tax last week. Yeah. And he crossed the line last week when he bloody pride. Pride's still land in the hospital bed, I don't even know when he's going to come out. I couldn't believe he did that, man. Oh, God, that was way too far. Wait, you know, flax and Legacy, that Legacy curse, man. He and I, we've been on both sides of it. Hell, I've been on both sides of it on my own. I've lost the title twice, and I've won it. I've been, that curse has bitten me in the ass. Straight up bitten me in the ass. But tonight, I feel like I've died and gone to heaven, guys. I've never had this many asses on a silver platter to kick. Yeah. Damn right. With two weeks until Cemetery Gate 7, we got three asses to kick tonight. Yes. We got Todd Sopel. Yeah. We got Staples. Oh, yeah. And we got Dirty Dealer. Yep. <laughs> Tonight, we are gonna reign supreme. You're gonna show Staples that at Legacy, you're gonna continue to be Mr. Legacy. You're gonna show Todd Sobel that that curse is in your favor. My favor. And I'm gonna show Dirty Dealer that I'm gonna take him, sick and grave digger out at Cemetery Gate 7. That's right, butt sex on three. How about we just head to the ring? All right, I'm fine with that too. All right, come on. Whoa, hey, hey. Don't touch my ass. Hey, I'm sorry, man. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Christian Sane and Kevin Chaos wasting no time. Total Chaos is theme music hit, but up came the stairs of Brawling Chaos Insane as they brawl it out on the outside of the floor. The match will not officially begin until both men are inside the ring. Kevin Chaos spitting some water in the face of Christian Sane. Not going to do much to hurt him, but it's certainly going to blind him for a few moments. Enough for Kevin Chaos to try for the Chaos Theory, but he got caught with a low blow. MTDT right on the floor by Christian Sane. Wait a second. Christian Sen lifting up those protective mats on the outside of the floor. This is for Q, buddy. He lifted up one portion of those protective mats. What is he going to do to Kevin Chaos here on the floor? He's going to pile drive him. No way. Kevin Chaos going to be pile driven on the floor. But wait a second. Back body drop on top of the mats outside of the ring. Those protective mats drop kicks and Christian Sane face first into the brick wall. Kevin now has Christian Sane. What are we going to see here? Oh, drops him down right across the ring apron. Kevin Chaos now. Sane tried for the shoulder. He got caught. Wait a second. Blake to the back of the head, oh my god! Driving Christian Sane's face right into the mat. We are only a minute and 40 seconds into this fight, and these two men are pulling out all the stops already. Christian Sane now being brought up to his feet by Kevin Chaos. Chaos has Sane, body slam takedown. Kevin heading out to the outside, what are we gonna see here? He's heading up to the top rope. Looks like we're going to see an aerial attack. No, we're not. Sane gets shoved off. Kevin Chaos still trying for it. Flying cross body block. Right on to Christian Sane. We got a cover, and we only get two. Punches right to the face by the southpaw, Kevin Chaos. He gets caught with a boot to the stomach and we get a flipping neck breaker by Christian Saint. We got a cover and a count of only two. Kevin Chaos now reverses the Irish whip by Christian Sane, gets caught with a boot to the face. Christian Sane has him up, pancakes him over into that DDT. 
We only get two there. Christian Sane arguing the count with the masked referee. Sane picks up Chaos, sends him off the ropes with an Irish whip. Spine buster by Christian Sane. We get a cover and we only get two. Kevin Chaos being choked by Christian Sane. Boot across the throat. Christian Sane now bringing Kevin Chaos over to the corner, sitting him up on the top turnbuckle. Looks like Christian Sane trying for the back suplex, but Kevin Chaos flying three elbows right into the face. Here comes Sane, paralyzer out of the corner. Oh my God, paralyzer. Did you see Chaos's head? His head bounce off the knees of Christian Sane. This has got to be all. And Kevin Chaos. Kicks out somehow. Kevin Chaos kicking out after that devastating paralyzer at the hands of Christian Sane. Kevin Chaos sent hard into the opposite buckle. And Sane came charging and he gets caught with a power slam out of the corner. Came charging with that flying elbow and he got turned buckle right to his face and then power slammed over by Kevin Chaos. Both men are down after that power slam and near fall by Kevin Chaos. Referee continuing to count. Somebody's gotta get up to their feet. Kevin Chaos starting to stir. So is Christian Sane. Both men are down. Both men trying to get back up to their feet. Who will be the first one up? Both men at both of their feet. Both men are standing at a standing position. Kevin Chaos and Christian Sane now trading blows in the center of the ring. Kevin Chaos, oh, gets raked in the eyes by Christian Sane. Sane gets reversed on the Irish whip. Chaos catches him, tilt a whirl, backbreaker. He's gonna back up, takes him into the corner, slams him in. Could it be? Oh, another corner. Taking him on the turnbuckle tour here. Calling for the final one, and we get a snake eyes in the corner by Kevin Chaos. And now he's got Christian Sane up in a torture rack. Will oh, Sane just raked the eyes of the masked referee. Christian Sane gave up but he had raked the eyes of the masked referee, so the referee did not see the submission there by Christian Sane. Hangman over the top rope by Christian Sane onto Kevin Chaos. What's Sane gonna do here? Springboarding off the top, he gets caught. Slipping on that top rope, took Kevin Chaos down with a clothesline, didn't quite get all of it. Looks like he's gonna try it again. Up on the top, he gets caught into a Chaos Theory. Two and three, Kevin Chaos with the victory over Christian Sane, catching the springboard attempt into a Chaos Theory. What a victory for Kevin Chaos this week as we are two weeks away from Legacy where Kevin and Q will get a chance to become first time WAW Team Champions in the three team elimination match at the biggest event of our year, Kevin Chaos signaling it. He says that they are going to walk out, him and his brother, the new WAW Team Champions. But that remains to be seen as there are two other hungry teams in the hunt. The defending champions, the Kindred, are promising to walk out champions. And the challengers, the other challengers, the number one contenders on their rematch clause. Asylum says that they will walk out of Legacy, the new WAW Team Champion. Coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna hear some comments from earlier on from the team of Todd Sokol, Dirty Dealer, and Staples. And then we will see our main event of this week, a six-man tag team contest pitting Freakin' Flax, the number one contender, Sin, a participant in Cemetery Gates, and Effo against Todd Sokol, the WAW Champion, Dirty Dealer, another participant in Cemetery Gates, and Staples. 